Ray Hawk with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hal Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Toto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Lone Silver, let's go, big fellow. Water, great torrents of water, tumbled down the southern slope of Piney Ridge. It gouged new channels in the parched earth and swirled into the arid valley. Yeah! Bart Boswell's plan to irrigate the valley had proved successful. Those who had scoffed at his plan were on hand to honor Boswell, who sat grinning happily near one end of the bar. Here's the Bart Boswell! A speech! Let's have a speech, Boswell! Go on, Bart, we'll make a speech. Say something. No, 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 I, I can't make a speech. Right, like fine, you can. You're the slickest talker we ever saw. Get up on your feet. Quiet down, folks! Quiet down so Boswell can speak. Go ahead, Bert. <clears throat> well, uh, well, my friends, I'm not one to make speeches. I, uh, I feel that you do me undeserved honor. After all, my part was a small one. I happened to own the waterless waste in the valley. I merely uh, diverted a mountain stream. Yes. <laughs> and after all, there's nothing wonderful about making water go downhill. It would be far more wonderful if I could make the water run uphill. <laughs> Boy, boy, he's just modest, that's all. What did Bart do for us? Didn't he make the valley land good growing land? Didn't he let us all buy farms from him real cheap? Didn't he say we could pay for that land a little at a time as we were able? Well, we should be mighty grateful to Bart Bart. A woman stood in the darkness outside the cafe. She peered through a crack in the door until the sound of horses caught her turn. She faced the two men who dismounted the post. Say, uh, mister. Yes? Are you going inside the cafe? Well, I don't know. What's going on in Red Pine? My sakes, it's a celebration. Mr. Boswell's plan worked out. Oh, what plan? Oh, my goodness. Haven't you heard? 
He channeled the water on Piney Hill. The valley's irrigated. All of us have bought valley farmland from Mr. Boswell. Oh, I see. Grand is the most generous man alive. He's given us as long as we want to pay for the land. Are you going inside? Possibly. Well, my husband is in there. His name is Tad Sloan. Tell him that he forgot to milk the cow. I'll see that he gets word. I, uh... Oh, my sake. <laughs> What's the matter, Mrs. Sloan? A step to the left of this. The light from the cafe just touched your face. Let me see. I'm wearing a mask. But don't be afraid. Oh, I... my sakes alive. You better clear out of here. The United States Marshal is in that cafe. I'm not dodging the law. But Dan Hawks is dead set against men who... Well, the fact that your mask is all it'll take. I don't go inside there. Never mind telling Sloan anything. I'll go and milk the cows myself. You get away from this town. Well, Tonto... Did you hear what she said? Uh, me hear. Water on Piney Hill is flowing to the South Valley. And that's bad. Plenty bad. Means that the Indians on the north side of the hill will be deprived of water. Uh, White Eagle won't stand for that. White Eagle make plenty trouble. The Indians have been farming the northern slope for a long time. Their streams dry up. The valley will become as arid as the South Valley's been. Uh, and what we do? We'll camp nearby and see what happens. <laughs> Well, Boswell, this is your night, isn't it? Huh? Oh, oh, yes, yes, Marshal Hawks. It's a dream come true. Ah, me, a dream come true. Yes, indeed. You've had a lot of dreams in your day, haven't you? I, uh, well, well, what do you mean? Five years ago, you dreamed that people could be sold no good stock in fake gold mines. You made that dream come true in Taylor County. What? Remember? How'd you There's know that? a lot of men would like to hang you if you ever went back to Taylor County. Oh, Marshal, I... Don't please... bother with a handy lie. Your partner was caught and told the whole story. They lynched him. Hawks, I beg of you. I be... Listen to me, you four-flusher. I... What four-flusher? For the time being, I'll keep my mouth shut until I see what you're up to. But, my dear sir... I've known please... cases where a man reforms. Maybe this is one of them. Right now, you've got all your cash sunk in that valley project. You sold the land to the people around here, but you'll get it back ten times over when the people pay off their mortgages. Maybe you'll make restitution in Taylor County when you're able. Of course, Marshal. To, to be sure. That's my intention. Well, I'll give you the chance. Uh, you, uh, you haven't told anyone here about me? Nope. I can keep a still tongue in my head, Boswell. It all depends on you. I'll be around. Uh, so, no one else knows... Well, maybe Marshal Hawks will be sorry he knows so much. Men have stood in my way before, and they've regretted it. Hey, Marshal, come on! We're going to have a short break parade! During the next few weeks, the Lone Ranger and Tonto watched both sides of Piney Hill. In the newly watered valley to the south, they saw fields plowed and planted, houses built and fences strung on posts. On the northern slope, where the Indian planters lived, it was a different story. The crops were withered. The ground was so dry that great cracks appeared. The masked man and Tonto gazed down from the hill as the distant sound of a chant came to meet them. Tonto, is not a song of the rain god? That's right. The Indians need water very badly. Ah, Field plenty dry. Grain bursts with heat. Crops turn brown. The dry season, too. Is there any signs of rain? No. Rain not come for long time. Plenty long time. Even the water holes have dried up. White Eagle make trouble plenty soon. I thought he'd take action before this. Ah. We seen his scouts on this hill. They know where the water's going. Not right. I wonder why they've done nothing about it. Simasabe. Yes. Look there. You see Indian coming uphill? Yes, I see him. Him go to big rock over there. Is that White Eagle? That's right. Toto, look at that rock. You see the shadow next to it? Ah, shadow a horse. White Eagle's meeting someone. Yes, it's a man standing there. Why, it's Spark Russell. Ah, we go there, huh? Yes, we'll hug this side of the rock where we can hear without being seen. Come on. Oh, uh, hello, Chief. Oh, I uh, see you right on time. Mm -hmm. 
me come hold meeting. I didn't know whether your scout would take my message to Jim you. Didn't bring message. Then you, uh, you know why I wanted to meet you, eh? You say you give water back to Indian. Well, that's not exactly right. I, I meant to tell you that I knew who stole the water from you. I know how you can get it back. Who take water? The man's name is Boswell. Bart Boswell. Anyone will tell you that. Uh, where Boswell? He lives in town right now. He's the one that dug the new channel and changed the course of the water. It man who changed water? That's right. It not work of rain god who was angry with Indians? Oh, no, not for a minute. Your rain god didn't have a thing to do with it. Mm. Boswell is the one. Now, if you kill him, you can damn the water's present course and send it back to your side of the mountain. Uh, that's good. Uh, I'd better tell you just what Boswell looks like so you won't get the wrong man. Oh, him look. <clears throat> well, uh, he's a big man. Lots bigger than I am. He's got black hair and a small mustache. Do you know what I mean? Uh, plenty scalp. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And he's always smoking a big cigar. You know what a cigar is? Me know. Eagle know. Well, you'll have to get your enemy tomorrow night. Me savvy. He won't be around tonight. He might leave here after tomorrow night. Me get him tomorrow night. You just ask anyone where Boswell lives. Then sneak in after dark and you'll recognize the man I described. Big cigar. That's right. Black scalp. You be on hand tomorrow night. <laughs> it was the following day when Bart Boswell set up the second part of his trap for the marshal. He strolled into the cafe where Marshal Hawk sat at a corner table. Well, well, Marshal, I'm glad to see you. Do you, uh, you mind if I sit down? Go ahead, Boswell. Oh, it's good to sit down. I've been on my feet for a long time. Yeah? Uh, Marshal, can you keep a secret? Huh? Kept yours, haven't I? Yes, yes, of course you have. I should have realized that you're a man to be trusted. If you trust me, talk. If you don't, don't talk. Don't matter either way. Mind if I go on eating? No, oh, no, no. Please proceed. I'll talk while you eat. A marshal, for some time there's been an outfit known as the Snyder Gang. Do you know anything about them? You tried to catch them, haven't you? They ain't in this section. That, sir, is where you're mistaken. Yeah? I've had a note from Snyder. He labors under the impression that I'm a man of wealth, a man of means. Let's see the note. Marshal, I'm sorry, but I haven't got it. I was so infuriated that I crumpled it up and threw it into the fire. Huh. What did it say? It was a demand for cash. A threat that I must pay or be exposed as, uh, well, as a man who'd done business in Taylor County. Snyder, eh? Yes. He's going to come to my house tomorrow night. He is? I'm, uh, I'm frank to say I'm afraid. <laughs> Yellow, huh? Well, how would you feel in my position? I'd like to line my sights on that Snyder crook. Hmm. You wouldn't have any better chance than I. Who wouldn't? What? He'd pull your mustache out, hair at a time. He'd ram your cigar down your throat. Yeah. You think he would, huh? Marshal, I have an idea. I... Uh, no. Oh, you wouldn't take the risk. Huh? I... I was going to suggest that uh, you take my place. In your house? Yeah, but that would be too dangerous. You have to be there alone. And did that note say what time Snyder would pay his call? About an hour after it gets dark. He, uh, he said that he'd kill me if I told anyone about him. I'll be at your house tomorrow night. What? You dare put your life on the line? Snyder has more cause for worry than me. Well, he's... He's mighty dangerous. He's a killer. Well, most every killer meets the same end. Maybe we'll have a funeral for Snyder right here in town. Why, well, uh... I hope it's his funeral, not yours. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. Bart Boswell felt that he'd set a neat trap for Marshal Hawk. He was in his home in the hill when Tad Sloan, representing the townspeople, came to call. 
Tad was worried. He pointed out the prospect of an Indian uprising. He explained that the settlers' land would be arid and worthless if the Indians reclaimed the water. Well, then we couldn't meet our payments and the mortgages. What would happen then? Sloan, you know the law as well as I do. Would you take our land? It would be worthless to you if it went dry. You would take it? Oh, I don't know. Well, after you got it, if the water was sent back to this side again, we'd have our cash that we paid you. You'd have the land and all the buildings we put up. You could sell everything all over again, couldn't you? Sloan, you're worrying about things that are too far in the future. Forget all that nonsense. Now, uh, clear out. I have worries of my own. Mm, tossing me out, huh? I'm a busy man. You're a mighty changed man. Now that you've got it sewed up. A mighty changed man. Good day, Boswell. Good day, Sloan. Hey, that critter would foreclose on us. Hold on, oh boy, easy. Get Great up. day, Matt. Sloan, I... I want to speak to you. Okay. Well, what about... Who are you? I don't be frightened. Look, mister, I've got nothing worth robbing. I didn't come to steal from you. I came to help you. Help me? Were you talking to Bart Boswell? Well, yes. Why? Was anyone there with him? I didn't see anyone. Sloan, you know a large man with black hair and a mustache who usually smokes a cigar? Well, that sounds like it might be the United States Marshal. Hawks? Yeah. But who are Sloan, you? Sloan, one thing more. Do you know any reason why Boswell would want the marshal killed? Of course, you know. Those two are pretty good friends. Friends? They see each other pretty frequent. I can't imagine Boswell want anything like you suggest. Look, look here now. How'd you know my name? How many of your friends have bought farms in the valley? Well, the last count, there's about a score of us. Are all of these people friendly with you? Yeah, sure they are. We're all working together. Can you count on them for help? Well, you better can. Good. Why? Now, listen to me. You want to safeguard your property and keep your homes in the valley? Get your friends together for a meeting. What's your meeting for? I'll tell you more about it later. I'm on my way now to visit the Marshall City, big fella. One silver. A few moments after leaving the hillside home of Bart Bogwell. The masked man reined up at the marshal cop. <laughs> Hawk saw him through a window and came charging from the house. Stand right where you are and don't make a move. I've got you covered. Put your gun away, Marshal. Think I'm loco? Lift your hands slow and take that mask off. I didn't come here to unmask. I came to talk to you. I want to talk about tonight. Tonight? You're one of Snyder's men. The Snyder gang is more than 100 miles from here. That's not true. I know different. Now do as I say or I'll start shooting. I've told you the truth, Marshal. Now, listen to me. Why did Boswell talk to the Indians? Huh? What's that? Why did he arrange for White Eagle to visit his house tonight? Tonight? Why did Boswell tell White Eagle to be sure to kill the owner of that house? Then proceeded to describe the owner as a man of your size, with black hair and mustache who smokes cigars. He described me? Why did he tell White Eagle the Indians could get their water back on the north side of Piney Ridge? They killed the man he described, then damned the stream. Why, that... What do you make of it, Marshal? He told me to be there and trap Snyder. To get you there for White Eagle to kill. He wants me out of the way. He's afraid I might talk. Why, that... And he wants the farmers to lose their land. That's it. He aims to steal the land, and he's got to get rid of me so he can get away with it. So that's it. He's up to his old skin flint tricks. I'll go get that buzzard and ring the answers to some questions out of him. No, Marshal. Who are you to tell me what to do? You're going to do things my way. Well, of all the outlandish nerve. It's for the good of everyone. I warned that polecat. Put down your gun and listen to me. I'll be hanged if I put down my gun. I've still got the drop on you. For all I know, you're stringing out a lot of lies. Drop the gun. Huh? What? The gun wasn't in your hand a second ago. No, it's there now. Looks like a stalemate. All right. Call it a stalemate. Now, shall we talk things over? <laughs> Mister, with a draw like you just demonstrated, we'll talk. When the Lone Ranger finished talking to the Marshal, he once more leaped to the saddle and raced away. The big white horse raced toward the distant hill where Tonto was waiting. The masked man knew that every second was precious. He knew that the Indians had that very morning started a war dance. 
He knew that many of the Indians, desperate because of the condition of their crops, were quite likely to attack the Southern Valley despite White Eagle's plan. The Lone Ranger reined up at Tonto's side. The war dance rumbled in the distance. Who's who? Who is he? Here, Dan, Kimo Sabi. Yes, Tonto. We've got to hold them back. If they attack, everything will be spoiled. That's right. I've got to talk to White Eagle, and you've got to talk to the Indians in his tribe. They've got to have their help to carry out our plans for tonight. And what plans? The plans I made with Marshal Hawks. Mount up. Uh-huh. And we had a chance, I'll tell you what I've learned. Are you ready? Come on, Phil. Come up. Come <laughs> That night, soon after darkness fell, Bob Boswell paced the floor of his home as he waited impatient for his arrival with the marshal. When he saw the lawman approach, he breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, at last. Marshal, I'm glad to see you. Glad indeed. I was afraid your courage had failed you. I'm here so you can toss that idea out the window. Well, as long as you're here, I think I'll get out and leave things to you. Make yourself quite at home. You'll find... Uh, Plenty of cigars on the table near the easy chair. Where do you think you're going, Boswell? I? Well, <laughs> my dear friend, I don't care to be around when you and Snyder start shooting. You'd better stay around. Well, uh, what do you mean? I told you I planned to get out. I know you did. Well, you, you were agreeable. I thought it over and changed my mind. <clears throat> Might as well sit. But I, uh, I sit down, Boswell. Take your own chair. Well, I uh, I think I'm entitled to an explanation. Well, I'd better turn the lamp down a little. Too much light makes us easy targets for someone outside. I'll turn this lamp all the way out. But we we need light. Oh, just a little. Just a little light will be a plenty. I don't want to stay here. I don't care much what you want. Have a cigar. I uh, don't feel like smoking just now. Oh, sure you do. A good cigar will calm your nerves. Me, I sure like the smell of cigar smoke. Uh, it bothers me no end when my throat dries up so they can't use them. I see. Oh, you, you aren't smoking? Uh, not tonight, Boswell. That's oh. why I want you to smoke. I can at least smell the cigar. Here you are, Bart. I'll light up for you. Oh, uh, I don't feel like smoking either. Open your face. No, I don't. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'll strike a light. Uh, yeah, that's it. <sighs> Getting mighty dark out. Marshal, I, uh, I don't want to stay here. I, I'm afraid. No, Boswell, I don't think Snyder's anywhere near here. You, you don't? Uh-uh. But, uh, but that note... I don't think we've got to worry about him. Smoke that cigar a little harder, won't you, Boswell? Oh, I, I want a drink of water. I, going out to the kitchen. Uh, wait a minute. I thought I heard someone moving around outside. Well, it must be Snyder. Well, I'd better turn this light a little lower. No, no. Leave it as it is. And a little lower. The room should be nearly dark. That's better. But let me leave. Boswell, I, I... you act downright suspicious. I wonder if you could have been setting a trap for me. Why, uh, what do you mean? If you have, this is the time to say so. Oh, no, of course not. There's no trap. You sure? What sort of trap would this be? Uh, you'd have to tell me. I'd have no way of knowing, would I? Why, well, what makes you speak of a trap? The way you act. Maybe the best and safest thing would be for you to be fixed so you'd look like me, dark hair and mustache. Then we could turn the light up. If someone came for me, they'd get you. No, no. Of course, if there was no trap, it'd be a lot safer if you were made up to look like me. Marshal, I, I don't feel well. Stomach, I guess. Uh, too bad. I, uh, an Indian. What the... don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'm not the one. He's not smoking a cigar right now. What do you mean by that? Who by Boswell? He's the one. What do you mean? Marshal, save me. Save me from that killer Indian. In the name of mercy, save me. I'm, I'm sorry I did set a trap. Forgive me. You sent Indians to kill me, eh? Don't let them get me. Save me. You lied about Snyder? Yes, yes, I lied. You wanted me dead and out of your way so I couldn't tell what you did in Taylor County. Don't let that savage get me. Is it true you wanted me out of the way? Yes, yes, I admit it. Then you'd have the Indians change the water so you could foreclose the mortgages. Is that what your plan was? Yes, yes. Well, plenty of Indians here. Make you sorry. I hear them. I hear them. They're all around the house. Ah, maybe burn house down. Oh, no, no. Mercy, Marshal, call for help. Get men to fight the Indians. I'll confess to everything. Just save my life. Don't let them kill me. They're going to pieces, eh, Boswell? I beg, I beseech you. Shut up. The Indians won't get you. They will. They're all around the house. All they want is a fair deal, that's all. Call the people in, Tonto. Uh, he get them. Why, you... You called him Tonto? Yes. 
There's a few surprises coming to you, Boswell. Look! A masked man. A number of men from the valley are here with the Indians, Good. Marshal. Uh, here's Sloan. We heard all you said, Boswell. All the underhanded schemers. Now, now, gents. Gents, I didn't mean to do any harm. I swear Save I... it, Boswell. You meant to swindle everyone. You meant to steal the land from these people. And when you owned it, you'd get the water back from the Indians. Oh, what can I do? What can I say? You needn't say anything. We'll tell you what to do. Indian want water. You heard White Eagle? I... Yes. The Indians shall have water. Hey, wait. If they get the water, we'll go broke. That's just what Boswell wanted to happen. You'll not go broke, Sloan. There's water enough for everyone. Boswell's going to remain here and see if the water is divided. I... I am? You'll fix a lock on the divide. So you can send water first to one valley, then to the other. Your personal safety depends upon the way you keep the people on both sides of Piney Ridge satisfied. You mean I, uh... I'm not going to jail? It's up to you, Boswell. I'll do anything you say. I've told you what you'll do. Come on, Otto. Ah, I'll stay right here in the job to see that you do as he said. And in the meantime, you'll repay the folks you robbed in Taylor County. Yes, yes, Marshal. I, I'll obey. But who is he? Who is the masked man? Well, they call him the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>